Good morning, students. This is Head Wizard Favor here at the Patch School of Wizardry, Mathematics, along with Assistant Wizard Tracy to help me along. Now, it's Cuisinier time. I'm going to introduce to you Cuisinier's every time and every segment. Now, you have 74 pieces inside the box that you have. And we're going to start with one, the universal number one. White, the universal number, is one. Red is two. Light green is three. Purple is four. Yellow is five. Dark green is six. Now let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let's do it in color. White, red, light green, purple, yellow, dark green. Okay. Let's go to black. Black is seven. It's longer than the rest, isn't it? Now we go to eight. Eight is brown. It's even longer. You notice the pattern. Nine is blue. And the last Cuisinier rod is 10. Orange. Let's go through it. White, red, light green, purple, yellow, dark green, black, brown, blue, orange. And let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Those are the Cuisinier rods that you're going to need to work with. Okay, Patch Junior Wizards. Today we're going to be doing the mantra, as we will every day. Now, here we go. W is for white. White equals one. R is for red. Red equals two. G is for light green. Light green equals three. P is for purple. Purple equals four. Y is for yellow. Yellow equals five. D is for dark green. Dark green equals six. K is for black. And black equals seven. N is for brown. Brown equals eight. E is for blue. Blue equals nine. O is for orange. Orange equals ten. Nice job. I need you to do that. Fantastic. Well, boys and girls, junior wizards, we're going to go do the codes, and I'm going to show you them in front of you right now. You have them on page seven in your workbook, but I like to review the codes every single time. W is for white. R is for red. G is for light green. P is for purple. Y is for yellow. D is for dark green. K is for black. N is for brown. E is for blue. And the last one, O is for orange. Now let's go through it backwards. O is for orange. E is for blue. N is for brown. K is for black. D is for dark green. Y is for yellow. P is for purple. G is for light green. R is for red, and W is for white. There you go, the codes. Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to use the paddles. All you junior wizards out there. Now, I'm going to show you a number, and you're going to have to tell me the color. That's the first part. You ready? One. What color? White. Good. Two, what color? 
Red. Perfect. What color? Light green. Three. Good. This is four. What color is it? Purple. Excellent. Yellow. Five. Look at it again. Yellow. Five. Six is what color? Dark green. Good. Seven is black. Say it again. Seven is black. Eight is what color? Brown. One more time, brown. Nine, blue. Excellent. And we have one more. Ten. What color's ten? Orange. Fantastic. Now I'm going to do one other thing with you, as I will do every day. What is the code for one? W. What's the code for red? R. What is the code for light green? G. What is the code for purple? P. What is the code for yellow? Y. What is the code for dark green? D. What is the code for black? K. What is the code for brown? N. Very good. What is the code for blue? E. Good going. Last one. What's the code for orange? O. There you go. We worked on the code today. We worked on the numbers. Studied them. Review them. Thank you. Today, boys and girls, we're going to work with train. We work every day with using trains. Now, we're going to start with a four, which is purple, P. Here we go. There is a four. Now, you can also do a three and a one. There that is. A two and a two. And notice how I'm putting them in. A four, a three and a one, a two and a two. Great. Now we're going, I want you to fill them all up, all the way to the very top. Now let's go to five. And here we are with fives. Notice the five is already in there. And it can't be on the sides. Not like this. This doesn't work. That doesn't work. Now this is how it's supposed to look. Look at it. Super. Now we're going to work on it as if it was like the fours, but it's a five. I'm going to go now with my magic wand and make five. Four and one is five. What else can we do? Three and two is five. Aha! But there's a trick to this. You have three and a two. You can also do three and a two. And now we have it. They look different, don't they? Take a look. We have a red and a light green. And we have a light green and a red. Now you're going to fill them all the way to the top with fives. Sets of fives. Can you do that? Let's go to sixes. Here is a six. Notice how we put it in. Now, let's make sets of six. A five and a one make six, just like we have on the bottom. Five and one, or a yellow and a white. Now we're going to make six using dark or light green. First light green, second light green, and they equal six. See how perfectly they fit? Okay, let's try another one. Two, four, six. There we have it. Two, four, six. Three reds. Everything equals six. You have the solid six, a yellow and a one, a light green and light green, a red, red, and a red. Six is all the way to the top. Okay? Let's go to seven. And now we're on to sevens. Black. Take a look at how I have it, and I'm going to use a dark green and a one. There's a dark green and a one, 
and they equal 7. Pretty easy. Let's take a yellow, red. Yellow and red equals 7. Now let's try a trick with my magic wand. We're going to turn it around. Red, now yellow. We reversed it. Different, but the same. Can you do that? Now we're also going to go, I want to show you one more pattern. Here we go. Purple, light green. And what do they equal? Seven. Okay. Fill up the tra train all the way to the top. Now, we're going to go to eight. What color is eight? Brown. Okay. Now we're going to use a brown one. I'm going to make it magically appear right here. There's our eight. And what are sets of eight? Well, let's take a look at a purple and a purple. That also equals eight. Four and four is eight. Okay, let's now take a look at another one. Five. Hmm, what does five go with? A three, light green. And it keeps going like that all the way through it. Let's do one more. Six and a two. And you can do that too, six and a two. Brown, purple, purple, yellow, light green, dark green, red. Fantastic. Let's move on. Now don't forget to fill it all the way to the top. Okay, let's go on to blue. There, I just put a blue Cuisinaire rod in. Now, let's make more nines. Seven and a two. 7 and 2 equals 9. Now let's go use an 8. And a 1 makes it 9. Let's try one more. A 5 and a 4. 5 and a 4, yellow and purple, equals 9. 8 and 1 is 9. 7 and 2 is 9. And of course, blue is 9. Are we going to go on to the next one? I want you to fill this all up. And I want you now to let's take a look at 10. O for orange. Notice how I put the 10 in there the long way. Great. Now let's take a look at how we make sets of 10. You can fill this up. Oh, yeah, all the way to the top. A 5 and a 5. 10. 8. 2. 10. Now let's get creative. Three, 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 and one. Ten. Look at how many different ways we can write ten. Now it's your job to go all the way to the top. That's it today. I want you to use these every single day and it will make you smarter. Okay, boys and girls, I should say wizards, junior wizards. Every day I want you to play, not just in the book, but there's pictures I want you to color. They're all in code. Now, page seven will help you when you take a look at it. Seven, eight, nine, all the way to 14 will help you with this. Now, we have a picture. And I'm going to magically transform this picture step by step to show you how it's done. Here we go. I'm going to take R, which is red, taking my magic marker, a red magic marker. There it is. That's my first tool. Let's see if I can have fun. Magically done. Take a look. Anything with an R was colored in red. Now, I'm going to do the center. It shows yellow and black. Here we go. Notice how we colored in the yellow and had the three black centerpieces? Okay, now we're going to move on to the very center, which is orange. Now we have the orange done. O is for orange. R is for red. Y is for black. Y is for yellow. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the black dots, which is K. K is black. Now one more time. R. O. K. Y. Now let's move on. Okay, now G is for light green 
And notice how nicely I stayed within the lines. Same at the top, stay within the lines. Take your time. I want you to have fun. Okay, the last one is going to be D. What is D? Dark green. Let's go. Super. Notice dark green. D for dark green. G for light green. R for red. O for orange. K for black. Y for yellow. We want you to do this on all the pictures. Now, here's a picture on another page. Notice the codes. I want you, every lesson that you do, to color in a page. Here we are on page 67. Match the rod with its shape, then write the code. We're now in a code. We've done color. We know the colors. We know the numbers. You work putting numbers and colors together for a lot of pages. Now we're going into the final lap. Code. Ten codes, ten numbers, ten colors. And I guarantee you, you'll be successful in math and in algebra. Very simple. Ten codes, ten colors, ten numbers. Well, we're going to start off as I'm going to take, and I'm going to put the red there. And what is the code for red? Hmm. Tracy. Red is R. R, we have it. So you're going to write a red R and color in the space there. Let's go to the white. W. Oh, what's the code for white? W. w. <laughs> okay. Excellent. And what color are you tracing it with? Black. Now, let's jump to the long one. Where is that one? Over here. You notice how I'm putting them on. That really helps the brain attach it. So, I'm writing down orange. And what is the code? O. I think this one is brown. And I'm right. You need a brown magic marker, color it in, and the code for brown is N. N. Let's go to the next one, which is dark green. Put it on there. Dark green, the code is D. I keep putting it in front of my face, I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, Trace is ahead of me. Next is black. That has the K. Let's take a look. K is for dark, or is for black. We don't, no, we haven't done that one yet. Yellow. Put it over it. And the code, I'm helping some of you out because you might be on the younger side, some of you are not. Y is for yellow. Y is the code. Next one is purple. And the code, Tracy, for purple? P is for purple. Oh, we're on a roll here. Purple equals four. And here's a blue one. I'm putting it over the top. And the code for blue is E. And I have one left. G, excuse me, light green, put it on top of it, and the code for light green is G. Hey, 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 
we're on a pretty much of a roll. Let's go to the next page. On this page, we're only going to do two. You finish it. We'll give you the examples. I know you can do it. I will take this color, black. Black is K. I'm going to put it over it, and you put the code in next to it. Excellent. Tracy did a great job. And we'll do one more. A long one at the bottom. Let's take it. Put a Cuisinier rod over the top of it. Whoa! And what's the code? Oh. Always done in the same color. Okay, let's go to page, that was page 68. We're now going to page 69. We have three more pages and then the assessment. What I'm going to do on this one is only do one. I'm gradually weaning you off of the support because you can look at the past pages to make the difference. I'm going to take this one, purple on this page. Let's take and find purple. Where is purple? There is purple. It's in its color. And the code for purple is P. Now, I hope you're working with your trains. It's important. Look at the four that I just wrote down there. So you have a four, a one, and a three, a three, and a one, a red, a two, and a two, a one, one, and one. But we're doing codes. So I'd say P, W, G, G, W, R, R, W, 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 W. Once you can make that transition, You've come a long ways in understanding math. So whether I'm doing it for a 7, this would be a R, a Y, a Y, an R, a G, and a P. Not hard, but your brain's working to master it. Now, have we done, we didn't want on this page, correct? We're going now to page 70. Oh, it almost looks like the last couple pages, because it is. It's just mixed up. Now I'm going to take a brown one and going to put brown here. Just like Tracy. Tracy found it. And the code for brown is N. N, brown. Now tell me the number for the code N. Eight. Good. Got to know them both ways. Now, let's, do we, oh, we did next page. This is the last page before your assessment. Now, we're on page 71, doing the same thing we've done for the last four pages. I'm not going to give you help on this page, because the next page is an assessment. You've been doing it well. Let's see if you can do this page by yourself. It has all 10. You have all 10 Cuisinart rods. Should not be difficult. I think you can do that. Now. Page 73. This is the assessment. Match the rod with its shape and then write the code. You notice none of them are in color. That's why you need these. Your brain knows the size, 
knows the color, knows the shape. So you now have to take that shape and put it on. So here we are with your assessment. I can't help you on this page. This takes your memory, not mine. I'm expanding your memory. Take your 10 Cuisinaire rods, put them to the side, and match them up with what you have on this page. Match them up, and you'll see that all 10 are there. Color them in and write the code. If you have a hard time with this page, go back to the last three pages. Okay? It'll work for you. Now, before we move on, I want to say to you that in your book, page 7, there's the mantra, there's the code, the color, and the number. If you ever run into problems, go to this page, page 7. Seven is what color? Black. So I want you to go to that page. If you went to this page every day and read it, you know the mantra, and then you'd get the prize from me. That's how simple it is, but that's up to you. Our lesson for today has ended. Much success on your assessment, and I'll check in with you in the next lesson. This is... Headmaster Fave is saying, have a great day, and math is easy.